My mouth is so confused right now. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new episode, new location. Listen, if I'm a little off my game, it's because I just got out of the woods for a week. If you want to check out the main channel, it's Day in the Life of a Wildlife Photographer. And long story short, we got blasted with a terrible storm. It was much more than I could handle. It's a disaster. But today, as payoff, I am back in civilization and in downtown Vancouver, meeting up with my friends Jimmy and Jackie, Hi. private chefs, Middle Eastern, Latin descent, Ooh. Vancouver locals, and today is all about food. And we're starting out here, well, it's a little rainy, but we're starting out here in yeah. Granville Market, which is a bustling, sprawling market. If you guys know me, you know I love donuts. So <laughs> there's an institution here. Jimmy was saying, if you're coming here, we have to start at Lee's Donuts. So we're gonna start there and dive in. You guys ready? Oh yeah, let's do let's it. Do it. <laughs> Stop of the day, we're going with fresh maple syrup glazed candied salmon. Oh wow, can you see that? <laughs> no way. Oh, I got a large cheese. Go. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Oh wow. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Like very light on the maple. It's not like jerky, it's not like dried out. It's flavorful, it's nice. fatty in a it's good way. Cold. Oh my yeah. Like right, we, 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 we are we are finished. So good. Maple syrup glazed candied salmon nuggets. nuggets. Check. <laughs> so good. Two honey dips, one coconut, cinnamon, one Bavarian. Anything else? That's it. Oh, baby. Gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's a staple of Vancouver. Let's dive in. Look at this. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody okay. grab one. Woo. I'm gonna go honey dip. They're very light. They're nice and fresh. You can, yeah. They're not oily. Fluffy. I'm drooling right now. <laughs> Just ready. <laughs> Take a bite. Go for it. Oh, Cheers. wow. Very soft in texture. Here we go. Mm. Come on. Mm. They're not doughy at all. They're amazing. There's no better way to start a day. Mm. Cold, rainy day. We got coffees, we got donuts. Honey glazed donut is their signature donut. Look, even the seagulls are freaking out. They want to get involved. Yeah, we got coconut, we got Bavarian, we got peanut. There is a huge selection and a pretty sizable line that wraps around outside, but it goes through your line for maybe 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah on a Saturday, good. on a busy time. So don't be intimidated by the line. Oh man, this is just how I want to start every day. Yeah, oh yeah. You Bavarian. go peanut, I'll go Bavarian. Boom, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Cinnamon, <laughs> peanut, Bavarian. One more round, you know? Oh, mm. baby. Look at that. Beautiful. That's how yeah. I eat a donut all over the place. <laughs> you come to Granville Island, you create your own little breakfast. Mm. It's a yeah. lot of variety, right? Like you, you, you can choose what you want. Definitely a donut. It's like the one place in Vancouver mm -hmm. where you could pick your own adventure when it comes to food. I'm very impressed. I mean, it's packed already in there and so many different options from seafood to pot pies to desserts, incredible croissants and breads and pastries and everything in between. Just a really cool spot and the views, oh, say. especially on a nice day. This is a good start. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna wash this one down with another donut. All right, we're on our way to stop number two. The rain is coming. Had to put the hat on. Where are we? We're in Davy Street right now. We're in the downtown core. We're a few blocks away from English Bay, a few blocks away from the financial district. We're going to this place called The Score. Great pub, but they also have amazing brunch, especially the Caesars. You're gonna see it's a meal and a drink all in one. Here we are right here. Score on Davies, let's go. Are 
Here we go, second stop. Just a, a quick light drink before we press on. I'm ready for a nap after this. Cheers. Cheers. She's got a uh, grilled cheese sandwich, deep fried pickle, onion rings, salted rim, and this is a bloody Caesar. So a Canadian staple you gotta have when you're here. Ew. I'm gonna give it a taste. Get a taste. Oh wow, packs a punch. Woo, and then <laughs> just a quick snack with your drink. You wanna dip the burger in your oh, is, that, is that the plate? <laughs> I'm doing it. It's like tomato soup, but with alcohol. You're right. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's actually so good. That's so good. <laughs> it's spicy, but not overwhelming. Oh, this combination Sorry. needs to be done more. That's your second brekkie? So you got the clamato juice that adds a little bit of a, a kick to it, the spice, the salted rim. You can get a little bit of the vodka in there. Mixed with a very basic cheeseburger with an incredible bun, actually, with just cheese. Ooh. I smelt a cheese already. It's like a cheese whiz on top of there with a little bit of relish. And onion rings. And. You know, I'm gonna dim mine. Yeah, let's try it out. Oh. And this spot is awesome. Great for games, and the staff is super friendly. Really? Score on Davies. This is where you wanna come for a light drink. Again. Good brunch option. <laughs> brunch in a glass. There you go. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Oh, this is the Kurabuta Terimayo. Okay. It's a pork sausage. Smell seaweed, fried onions, all the good stuff. Go ahead. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. See the steam coming out? Grilled hot dog. Sweet Japanese mayo. The saltiness of the seaweed. There's a lot of crunch happening in my mouth. So Jimmy and I got the deluxe version of the same thing Jackie got. We got the Wagyu style. This is the Wagyu Terimayo. Terimayo, Terimayo. So it's just teriyaki and mayo pushed together. Mayonnaise, teriyaki seaweed on top and onions in there with a Wagyu beef hot dog. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. The bread is so fluffy. That's some really good brioche. My mouth is so confused right now. It's America and Japan coming together in a great relationship. Yes. Yes, because it tastes like a Chicago dog. Yeah. With like a Japanese rice bowl. That took a quick detour through Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. When I get close, my mind goes, oh, you're gonna have some sushi right now, good for you. Then I take the bite, and I'm like, oh, okonomiyaki, nice. Yes, with the same mayo. And then I start chewing, and then you're like, oh, no, no, it's just a hot dog, buddy. Mind and taste buds are just battling it out, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Simple, yet complex. I'm having a great time. Not really sure what's going on in my mouth, but I'm having a great time. I haven't said that since college. All right, we have just arrived to our next location of the day, and this yeah. is? This is Tom's Sushi on Davy Street. And you cannot come to Vancouver without a sushi stop, correct? Come on, sushi is a must here in Vancouver. This is gonna be an interesting contrast, because mm -hmm. before Japa Dog, we smelled sushi, but we tasted hot dog. This time, hopefully <laughs> our mind will be locked in on what we're actually eating. <laughs> Let's order. This Ready. is Jackie's recommendation. What is this one? So this is the Boshi salmon one, the hako, which is a little mayo on top of the um, the fish, and then it's char broiled. Flame broiled jalapeno topped. I like a little ginger salmon. wine just for Ooh. freshness. Do a quick little dunk here. Give it a try. Let's go in. Wow, you have that thin layer of mayo that's broiled on top. Mm. And so you have a little bit of crunch and that creaminess from the mayo. And the pickled jalapeno, just a little... Yeah, a little spice. A little kick, and then the sweetness of the salmon, that beautiful butteriness. And then not to be... Now, let's try. Not to be overdone, this is otoro, which is the tuna belly. And I just like this one straight up. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Mm. 
it just melts on your mouth. The best thing about it is it doesn't taste fishy. Yes. That's when you know it's a good mm -hmm. quality sushi. It's so subtle. <laughs> it's not salty. Very fatty. Mm. But it's not like when you eat pork belly where you feel like it's saturated everything. On a scale from 1 to 10 where you get that hit of like super fishy smell, yeah. this is like a 2. Good stuff. Approved. <laughs> And adding on top of that, we also got the deluxe assortment roll, <laughs> veggie tempura, and a bunch of deliciousness. Some really good sushi places. What will happen in kitchens is that for chefs who are starting in the kitchen, they, they won't be allowed to touch fish. They have to wait a year where they're shadowing the chef uh -huh. uh, while they're learning how to cook and cut the fish. So what's interesting about this place is that it looks like it's all young chefs. It's six of them, but none of them are talking to each other. They're all focused, working in their own stations, and they all know what to do. They don't need to talk. <laughs> they know what's happening. Sear salmon belly with gold flakes over the wasabi. Mm. If you thought the tuna toro melts in your mouth, if you thought the tuna toro was the best thing you've tried in your life, wait till you try this. This is a salmon toro. This is smoked salmon toro with wasabi. And it's wasabi in a way that you've never had before. The combination of the smoke from the torch, the fattiness from the salmon, and the wasabi itself, it just melts and blends in your mouth so well. The best thing I can put that to is bone marrow. Yeah. Like that is a fatty, but like the oils kind of stick to your mouth. It coats everything. Whoa. It's a little stronger um, taste than yeah, the tuna. Yeah. Holy cow. It's like it's a salmon butter. Salmon mm -hmm. butter, yeah. It's salmon butter. Salmon butter. There Cheers. It's <laughs> salmon butter. <laughs> put that on a toast. <laughs> Alright, this is our fifth and final location of the day, and where are we? This is called Kojiro Ramen. As you can tell, the massive portions on this bowl is because Gojiro is a style in Japan where they do it super extreme. I went with the spicy, well, mild spicy version of it. Choshu pork, of course, and the fried chicken nuggets here. Bean sprouts on top massive amount of noodles and Jimmy got the extra rich and basically the extra rich just means they're adding more fat in. Whoa. That is a fatty rich tonkatsu broth. It just warms my soul right now. It's a rainy day here in Vancouver and oh, these are the spots you gotta hit on a rainy day. I'm gonna try a little of this fried chicken. I think I have a little garlic on top. Boneless, delicious fried chicken bits. And the pork, sneaking in there. That's a good slice, I tell you. Mm. There you go. Mm. Oh, yeah. Those are <laughs> perfectly cooked noodles. So, so there's a ton of ramen spots here in Vancouver, correct? Yes. And it is easy to find high quality, good ramen spots. People gave me a ton of recommendations. These two gave me a ton of recommendations. <laughs> so hard to pick one. We ultimately chose the most aggressive looking one for you guys for the camera. But delicious ramen here that you but can find that size. You can go wrong with a Godzilla sized bowl of ramen. It's good, We, you know, we ate pretty light today. So it's a good, uh, it's a good transition. <laughs> it's a good finish we're, to the we're day. We're finishing strong. Like go big or go home. That's right. And That's we're going, what we're doing right now. We're going extra big. All right, I'm gonna let Jimmy eat. <laughs> this is the ramen. I'm gonna try spice. We'll check in in a minute when she starts crying from the spice. Woo! And just like that, that is it for a quick food video here in Vancouver. Uh, just one day before I catch a flight back home. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A big <laughs> shout out to Jimmy and Jackie Woo! for coming out. I'll leave where you can find them in the video description. And also make sure you go check out the video, Day in the Life of Wildlife Photographers, if you haven't already. That's what I came up here for. 
and a little bonus of the food here in Vancouver. Leave a comment. Let me know which place you would love to try if you came up here or other places that I missed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a big thumbs up. Woo! Big shout out to these two. That's it. See you guys in the next one. There they are. Gotta eat less if I'm gonna fit into that. Oh, it's not. It's the speed you want it. Oh, that's nice. It does cover. It covers the stomach up. That's perfect after a day like today. After Jaffa Dog. Yeah. Woo! All right. Welcome to stop number five. This is. I'm Jackie. We no, we know the place. <laughs> All right. This is our fifth and final location of the day, and where are we? We're right in the middle of Dunsmuir Street, almost at the edge of Gastown. So okay. in the in-betweens before we get into this amazing old town. And where are we specifically? <laughs> so what's the name of the restaurant? <laughs> where are we? Where are you? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new episode, new location for here and Gareth Eats. For here, for here, as if here, for Gareth Eats. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> you need your tea to wake I, up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, get, we're, get, we're getting moving. <laughs> I don't know if you can hold it up. But it's like, see if you can it's hold. like really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, what is, what do you call that? Uh, it's like a monstrosity. This is the checkmate. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs>